Good morning. My name is Maureen Chung. Welcome to Devotional 2024 Series 5-4. The Bible passage is 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 1 to 7, and the title is Lost and Found, Borrowed and Returned. The Bible says, The company of the prophets said to Elisha, Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan where each of us can get a pole and let us build a place there for us to meet. And he said, Go. Then one of them said, Won't you please come with your servants? I will, Elisha replied. And he went with them. They went to the Jordan and began to cut down trees. As one of them was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. Oh no, my Lord, he cried out. It was borrowed. The man of God asked, Where did it fall? When he showed him the place, Elisha cut a stick and threw it there and made the iron float. Lift it out, he said. Then the man reached out his hand and took it. This is another story confirming Elisha's inheritance of a double portion of Elijah's spirit. He asked for it in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9. God used Elisha in his ministry with the company of the prophets. In Gilgal, Bethel, and Jericho were schools of prophets that Elijah assembled. Now, the place where they met together with Elisha was too small for them. They planned to build another assembly hall by the River Jordan, which could also be their sleeping quarters. They borrowed an axe to cut down trees for timber. Unfortunately, as one of them wielded the axe, the iron axe head fell into the water. In those days, iron was valuable and thus the tool was expensive. How could one repay the owner? Probably by servitude for a long time. This was a costly accident. Elisha came to their rescue. He asked them, Where did it fall? Verse 6. At where it fell, Elijah threw in a stick, and behold, the axe head floated up to the surface of the water. It was a miracle. The student prophet waded into the river and retrieved the axe head. First, I imagine myself to be the iron axe head. Though valuable in the sight of God, I have a mind of my own. I'm often flying off the handle and escaping from the grasp of my master. I end up in the deep, lost from sight and from usefulness to my community. I can cause them much trouble. Then God throws me a lifeline, which is Jesus Christ. There is a miraculous exchange. Jesus sinks into the depth of my trouble while I float up to the surface. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. I am united with the handle and restored to my usefulness. I can continue to serve my community. I pray that I shall never fly off again. Second, I put myself in the place of the student prophet the builder of the meeting place. I have borrowed an expensive tool, which I must return. My tool is my spiritual gifting, my health, my energy, my time, my life, and so on. My tool must be put into good use 
especially in the building up of God's community. At the end of the day, the tool must be returned to the rightful owner, who is God himself. I can thank God for having had a good run, which was impossible aside from his loan. My life will be returned to him, who is my rightful owner. I have nothing but his trust in me. When all is said and done, I return to God my heavenly owner. I can lay down to rest. Third, I see the grace of Elisha, the teacher. He didn't instruct the student prophet to dive into the river since the man already knew where the axe head fell. He could be harsh to say, you caused the problem, so you fix it. But Elijah felt the anguish and the worry of the student as he cried out, Oh my God! Verse 5. He volunteered a miracle. Why don't we help ourselves by solving a problem that is humanly possible to solve? But we are living with a loving God. Before we ask, he has already stepped up to help. Amazing grace. Gracious Lord and God, I'm in awe of your wonderful love and timely intervention. You are so, so good. I thank you for loaning me everything that I enjoy and have on earth. I promise to use every gram of my gift for your pleasure. I look forward to the time of returning home to you at the end of the day. Seeing you is my best reward. I pray in the delightful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your precious time. May God bless you. See you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.